figured I would have a, a beer and a pipe. And uh, both of those things always taste better after, after a good lawn mowing. YouTube. This is Luke, the double A pipe man. Just finished up, finished up the yard. It is a perfect day here. my my first pipe of the day um, I started it earlier but uh, did not get around to finishing it and it is uh, <laughs> it's the the very very last bit of um, st. Bruno that I had in a pouch uh, <laughs> it was kind of like the uh, the commercials, the, the old St. Bruno commercials. And I sat down and opened the pouch. Like, oh God. But there was enough to fill this 701. Uh, this is a, it's a 701 uh, 7LE Extra, so. It is a, it's a pretty pipe. I think you all know I, I love the shape, and uh, this one is uh, a favorite of mine. Um, not much planned for the weekend. Uh, pretty much the, the hard work is done. I hosed off the dog in the backyard afterwards, and uh, my wife is finishing the, the bath upstairs. He gets a little bit of shampoo and, uh, you know, rubs it all in. It keeps him smelling like a cheap car wash. Uh, things around town have changed a little bit. Um, our governor, uh, Governor Whitmer, has um, graciously allowed the residents of Michigan to congregate in groups of 10 or less. We have not congregated, but um, we took a nice walk around the neighborhood last night and a lot of people seem to be congregating in their backyards. I, uh, I saw that Peter Piper, I, I sent him a, a tin of uh, Warhorse um, that just did, didn't work for me. And uh, he liked it right away, so. Enjoy it, buddy, because it was it was not the one for me. Um. Yeah, I, I don't I don't have much going on. I just wanted to to say hi, and uh, I was already outside and dirty from mowing, so. figured I would have a, a beer and a pipe. And uh, both of those things always taste better after, after a good lawn mowing.
it's um uh today is uh is our uh proposal anniversary day uh if you remember i told a story uh a month or so back about uh the day i proposed to my wife and she was super super late getting home So we've got, uh, she's here today, so um, got a bottle of uh, champagne upstairs, and uh, I'll be grilling in the backyard, pull the Weber out. I'm going to grill a, a whole chicken and some corn on the cob. Bell peppers, jalapeno. And uh and just enjoy the uh the evening and and each other's company. Um I haven't decided what I'm gonna smoke this evening. I've got a little bit left uh of some Innerdale flake that uh Unicorn Piper sent me. And that, man, it's some lovely stuff. I, <laughs> this, the, the Lakeland, uh, th I, so when, when I was first getting into pipe smoking and I would, I would read on the forums, I used to read the, the Puff forum. And there's the, uh, the, the Christian pipe smoker forum, which, uh, I am only one of those things and I'm doing it right now. Uh, that I would read, and uh, people would talk about these Lakeland blends. And and there was always a, a fanatic that loved them, and then a lot of people that would just, you know, oh, they smell like my, my grandma's purse, or, uh, you know, it smells like a, like a church doily. And I, I stayed away from them, uh, based on, on what other people thought. You know they'll they'll ghost your pipes and all this stuff, and you you have to pick a pipe for for Lakelands. I've just I haven't I have not uh, I just I disagree with that, and I'm I'm at the point now where I'm. I kind of want all my pipes to be the, uh, introduced to the Lakeland blends, and and maybe I'll set a pipe aside for a Burley blend or a Virginia. But I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind the ghost. Uh, I really don't mind the, the friendly ghost. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty rough on my pipes anyways. I usually pick a pipe and smoke it for the day. And that, that ranges, uh, I never get over this many, but, uh, I'm usually within, within this many. Um, some days, only this many, but some days possibly up to that many. Just depends. More of a more of that many kind of guy. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll load one right after the other. Doesn't bother me. I mean, I I'll, I'll knock it out the best I can after a bowl. But I mean, sometimes there's. You know, you got that little chunk left in the bottom, and I just put it right on top. It doesn't bother me. Sometimes those are my best smokes. Um, I prefer a, a heavy Latakia blend in the morning. Uh, if I've got it around. But if I'm if I'm like if I'm out somewhere traveling, uh, I'll I'll take I usually take two blends and two pipes, and uh, and it's just so I can alternate pipes you know pipe A pipe B and it's every other day, and then uh, just a standard blend, and then an easy blend, you know nothing nothing really special you know Pegasus usually comes along or Dunhill Standard. 
But I think St. Bruno will be, because I mean, you can grab a pouch of that for for eleven bucks, and you don't have to to jar it up right away. And I, I never jarred up the pouch of Bruno that I just went through, and I, I think that's the quickest I've gone through a ten or pouch uh, ever in my my pipe smoking career. Because it was just it was so nice after everything, and I just I look forward to it. Um, yeah, that's what I'm up to, and uh, hope everyone is enjoying this holiday weekend. Uh, get out and mow the grass, throw down some uh, Malorga night. You should do it four times a year. It's good for, good for the uh, get the, the natural stuff moving in there. Um, yeah. You guys take it easy. My name's Luke. I'm the Double A Pipe Man. Happy smokes.